happy April. I am back today to share my March favorites, my March lifestyle favorites. So clothes and accessories, beauty, home goods, multimedia, tasty treats. Those are the topics I usually cover. And I feel a little bit like, I don't know, bad's the right word, but my, I had a really hard time thinking of like new clothing and accessories um, favorites to share with you because I've basically been cooped in, in my house for the past three months wearing the same things every day. The leggings I talked about, the leggings and tank tops I talked about uh, in my February favorites, the sweaters I talked about in my January favorites, um, the same jewelry, I've been wearing the same jewelry every day. I'm like not going out a lot, not wearing a lot of different accessory things. So I was like, what can I talk about? But then I was thinking about it and it's like, it's okay to have some repeats because this is just me sharing what I genuinely like. Like it's not, I have to come up with new things every month. It's what do I actually enjoy and use a lot? And this month, We've been, tr in March, I mean, we've been transitioning into spring. I don't know, that was really hard to say, transitioning. We've been transitioning into spring, so I've been, you know, uh, getting out of the house more for walks with my baby and my dog, Winnie. And you might notice Winnie isn't in here today. She's usually sitting on the bed behind me. She's all cozy, comfy in her favorite perch on the back of the co uh, sofa by the window. I'll pop it on, I've just snapped a little picture, actually and I'll pop that in here. And I didn't want to bother her and like make her come sit up here just to be in my video. She's like so happy right now. So that's, Winnie's doing great by the way. And thank you for everybody who's been asking about her. She is such a wonderful, wonderful big sister, you know, <laughs> to Cece. She's just so protective and just so cute about her. Anyway, I digress. We've been getting out more, I've been walking more, the weather's been a little bit warmer, and you might hear it's like super windy, now that I say that it's like super windy and kind of snowing right now, but whatever. Um, for the most part, it's been pretty nice. So I've broken out my sneakers, and actually this is a replacement pair. I bought a new pair. I treat myself to a new pair of walking like every day all around sneakers every year. A, because my sneakers get really, really worn down because I wear them to death. I don't wear a lot of like non-sneaker shoes unless I'm going somewhere where I really, it's not appropriate. So nine times out of 10, I'm out of the house in sneakers unless it's winter and I'm wearing boots, you know, like winter boots. Uh, they're just my shoe of my choice. I have kind of troublesome feet. They just, I can put my custom orthotics in them and I don't have to worry. These are my favorite. I don't usually buy the same shoes two years in a row because I just like to try different things, different um, styles, different fits. But I loved these so much last year, I decided to buy them again. They're the Merrill, and now I don't know what they're called. It's like grass air or something. I don't know. I'll have what it is exactly linked below. But they're still available. Um, they're a really great everyday shoe. They're pretty lightweight, but they've got really, really nice heavy duty treads. My shoes from last year were worn down so much on the bottom despite these awesome treads because that's how much I wear them into the ground. I like literally wear them into the ground. Um, but I love them. I love the color. It's neutral enough that it goes with everything, but it has this cute little pop of mint that's awesome. Um, and I just really like these shoes. First of all, they're super comfortable. Like I said, I could put my custom orthotics in them. They support my feet great. I can bring them on vacation um, and like wear them on the plane and wear them every day and also wear them as a workout shoe. Like even though at home here I have separate shoes for working out because um, I like to wear um, shoes that just stay indoors on my indoor gym equipment and I have different shoes for running. But if I'm going out of town, I don't want to pack a million shoes, I know I can count on these to be an all around shoe for fitness or everyday wear. So I had to mention those, even though they've definitely been a favorite before. And another thing I know that I talked about last fall is this Wendy Bellissimo, um, it's a maternity, I think we call this an anorak coat. I remember I couldn't figure it out last time either and I had somehow said it right. So maybe I'll have said it right again. Um, I'll try to pop on a picture of it. I honestly don't know if this coat is still available, but I've actually seen non-maternity brands carrying something very similar. So I'm wondering if this is actually kind of in style right now. All I know is that I love it. I am definitely not pregnant at the moment and it's still fits me and looks awesome. Um, it's not the kind of pregnancy item that really only suits a pregnant belly. It actually falls really nice on me. It's got a cinched waist so I can make it a little bit you know, thinner. It covers my tush and stuff. Like I said, I've been really into leggings lately. So that works and it's just a really great kind of spring fall, you know, mid weight layer. And I just love the colors, this army green. It's just perfect. Um, and the pockets are actually like 
substantial enough that I could put my phone in one and my wallet and keys in the other and like be out the door um, and have CC and not need to like bring in a huge, or like my diaper bag or anything like that. So I know that I've talked about this in the past, but it has, I kind of knew, I kind of suspected I'd be able to get use out of it, non-pregnant, and I'm confirming that because it's awesome and I love it. I have a couple new beauty products that I've been really loving this past month. Um, one is a new face product. I don't wear, I haven't really worn foundation except for on the day that we had our family portraits taken um, earlier in January. And I'll put a link to that blog post before if you missed that. Um, it was our newborn photo shoot with Cece and I just love the way the pictures came out. That was the only time I've worn foundation in like, I don't know, 10 or 11 months. <laughs> um, it, for whatever reason, my skin just cleared up during my pregnancy and it's been pretty good ever since, you know, postpartum so far too. I have some hormonal breakouts coming through, but I haven't felt the need for foundation, but I like to have a little something on every day to kind of even out my skin tone. And I was using the Juice Beauty CC Cream. I used that for like eight or nine months and it just, the shade got too dark for me. Now that we're, this is kind of like transitioning out of my palest time of year, but I've been, you know, in the last few months I've been kind of paler because it's winter and I've been stuck inside and it's not sunny. Um, uh, and it's not like I go out tanning or anything, I just naturally tan very easily even though I wear SPF every single day, even if I'm not planning on going outside. Um, so I actually had this in my drawer. It was something I bought last year, but it had been too light for me. So I tucked it away thinking, oh, I'll use it next winter. And I pulled it out this month because I ran out of the CC cream and it was too dark for me anyway. And it's the Juice Beauty SPF 30 Tinted Mineral Moisturizer. I'm in the shade Sand. It's the perfect shade for me right now. I have um, kind of olivey undertones, um, but this works great for me. And I use this as my daytime moisturizer. After I take my shower and do my morning skincare routine, this is what I've been putting on um, after I put on my face serum and it a works as a great moisturizer my skin feels really nice not greasy but really nice and like soft and moisturized but it also has a nice uh, light coverage effect to it and i've really been enjoying it i like it it's a little bit different the cc cream's a little bit drier i feel like it it, it gives a little bit more coverage maybe a tiny bit it's really still not much but this is just more of a a true moisturizer with a real tint to it so i've really been enjoying that and then I also, you guys helped me in my last uh, favorites video. I talked, I asked for your help in looking for um, some easy eyeshadow sticks to use. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't turn the sound off my phone. I apologize. Anyway, um, because I've all, for the first time in my life, I've gotten to a place where I want to put a little makeup on every day. Not a lot, it's usually just the, the tinted moisturizer and a little bit of a, like a sweep of color over my eyelids and a little mascara and that's it. And I, I do put a little clear brow gel on because my eyebrows go like this. But um, in the past, I've always just worn a full face on the days where I'm either filming or going out and I want to look nice and put together, but every other day that I'm just bumming around the house or like running simple errands or whatever, I don't wear any makeup at all. Well, that changed since I gave birth and I think it's just wanting to claim a little bit of, of my face. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Um, I love, love, love being a mommy. I really do, but it, you need to find ways to um, kind of claim yourself in little ways. I don't know how to explain it really well right now, but um, it's very, very easy to totally lose yourself in your child. And while I give 99.9% .9 of myself to CC every day, I still need that 0.1% for me right now to just make me feel human and make me feel like me. And for me, a little, uh, that is like making the bed, cleaning the kitchen, doing the laundry, and putting on a tiny bit of makeup every day. Those are the things that are making me feel more like me. And now that I'm having, falling into a routine more, is posting more, especially on my blog. I've been real blog-centric lately. So um, those are kind of like my me things. Anyway, so I, you guys were so great with all your advice, and thank you so much. And I bought a couple of your recommendations, and I'm actually gonna do a little, um, haul review on my blog. If I haven't posted that yet, if I have posted it, I'll link it for you in a card. If a card doesn't pop up, it means I haven't written it yet. I just don't know how the timing of this haul is gonna go out, but I'm gonna talk about the products I bought and what I think about them, because I have some definite opinions. Um, but one of the products that you guys recommended became a standout favorite by far, and it's the Balm 
is the name of the company. Um, Batter Up, what is this? Uh, what do they call this? Batter Up Long Wearing Eyeshadow Sticks. I think these are new and they are amazing. I've tried two different eyeshadow sticks, these and the Laura Mercier one so far, and these are by far my favorites. And these shades are like my total me shades. So there's Shout Out, or no, Shut Out. They're supposed to be like baseball term term terminology, I think. I'm having trouble speaking today, if you hadn't noticed. Um, Shut Out is very, very cool taupey color with a hint of warmth behind it, I suppose, but just a beautiful everyday taupe. And then Moonshot, which I love, is this sort of almost mauve, like, uh, how do I say this? Like a dusty, a really light dusty rose taupe. Um, and they're beautiful and they're not too shimmery and they have great staying power. Um, so those are definite favorites. And I'll go more into um, my feelings about the other products I bought as well as those in that blog post when I get a chance to do it. Okay, now I have to look, look at my list because <laughs> I don't remember where I was. Okay, so those were my beauty favorites, right. So for home goods, I didn't bring these things up, but I'm going to uh, put in a little, either a picture or a little video clip of the things I like, probably a picture. Um, I thought I'd talk about some of my favorite laundry products today because I've definitely been doing a lot of laundry lately. Uh, with a baby, um, I do I do her laundry like every two days um, and just, I've had to spread, I used to do like big load, like have big laundry days. I'd have two big laundry days a week where I do linens on one day. So I do like three or four loads of linens between the different things. And then on the other day, I do all of our clothes laundry, like me and Donna and Pew do about five loads of clothes laundry. You know, because I kind of separate them by color and by weight and delicacy and whatever. Delicacy? Delicateness, not delicacy. Anyway, um, let me check on my baby here. Oh, I think we woke up. Well, she might go back to sleep, which sometimes she does. Let's see if she calls for me. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, I've developed a real laundry routine, because I do laundry every day basically now, just like a couple loads every day, just kind of space it out over the days of the week. And um, I have us all using the same laundry detergent. That's just easier for me. I don't want to do separate things for everybody. It just, it's too confusing. Um, I really love the Ecos Baby laundry detergent. I think it's basically the same as their free and clear. They're like non-scented one. I've used Ecos laundry detergent for years. I used to, pre-baby, I used the lemongrass scent um, one and I loved it. Um, it's gentle, but it gets the job done. Um, so I really like that. Since adding CC into the mix, I've also found a new product that I really like, which is the Honest Company's Honest Oxy Boost. And there's these little pods, they kind of look like dishwasher pod packs to me, that you toss into the drum of your washing machine, um, not, not into the, my washing machine at least, there's like a reservoir where you put in the liquid detergent and then that's separate from the drum of the machine. Um, so you put the pod into the drum of the machine and it basically just helps with stain management and color staying. Um, and so I put one in with each load now and I have noticed really great results with not only treating stains but also just the vibrancy of our clothes and they just come out looking a little bit brighter. Um, so I really enjoy that. Gotta look at my baby here. She's still hanging out, okay. And then the last laundry favorite I'm going to share is the when I need something strong for some stain removal. I use the, oh, what's it called? Now I don't know. I have to look at my cheat sheet. It's the OxyClean. Is that what it's called? Hello, phone. Sorry, you guys. My brain doesn't. OxyClean stain remover, yes. And this is another thing I've used for years, but especially with, um, you know, CC every once in a while with a baby, you get a little poop incident and Nope, you know, that stuff can stain. So, and I find that it does the trick as long as I treat it pretty soon after the incident and let it um, kind of sit. The other thing you can do with those Oxy Boost pods from the Honest Company is you can break them open and dilute them in water and use them as a soak, like a pre-wash. And they work really well for that. I use them in that capacity when I have a, like a really dire situation, but that's only happened a handful of times. So, uh, but it's nice to have them on hand anyway. Well, she's just hanging out. Okay, we'll keep going. For multimedia, 
Uh, for music, I actually, I know I'm like years off the bandwagon here, but I finally downloaded Pandora. And the reason I did that is because my baby likes it when I dance with her. And I was running out of like songs to sing. I wanted some more songs to be able to like bop around to. And I had just been singing to her. And when you're bopping around forever and singing too, it gets, you know, it gets a little tiring. So I wanted to have music to play so I could just do the bopping around and have somebody else sing for us. So I downloaded Pandora so I could do the Disney so I could like listen to Disney music because that's my favorite to sing to her and I wanted to like get you know reacquainted with some Disney songs that I haven't listened to for a long time I wanted to learn the words to some things and I'm just loving it I know it's like that it's whatever it is what it is right but I just I love the Disney Pandora station and I think Pandora is really cool I did go ahead and and decide to upgrade to the paid subscription it's $4.99 a month, and so you don't have to listen to the ads because I just found the ads annoying. But even like the free service, the, it's, you know, it's pretty sweet. So I haven't actually listened to any other Pandora stations, um, but if you guys have recommendations on things you like, uh, I'd love to know. I don't really understand how it works. I think it's like some sort of algorithm based on your thumbs up and stuff and, and, and um, thumbs down, like because you can thumbs up and thumbs down songs. but. I'm really loving the Pandora Disney station, so I just had to, I had to share that. And then for television, Don and I started watching The Amazing Race, and this is not the kind of TV show that I would normally be into. It's like too like of a high stress, too, like an anxiety produce, produce, producing um, show for me. I would just get like too wrapped up in it and get like too stressed about it. Usually that kind of show. Um, but I really wanted to watch it because it had some YouTubers in it that I'm familiar with. Blair Fowler, Tyler Oakley. I wanted to see these people um, in The Amazing Race. So we started watching the show and we both actually really, really like it. Like independent of the people who are in it, I just think it's a cool concept. So I've been really digging that. I think it's awesome. I love seeing familiar faces on it too of people I've watched online. Um, but it's just, I think it's a neat concept and I feel like we're going to watch it in subsequent seasons as well because it's just interesting and then lastly for multimedia i have been all about snapchat um for over the past couple of weeks i have dove back in i did like snaptober i think last year where i snapped every day in october but then i would compile that um, footage into videos and put them on youtube I've gotten lots of questions if I'm going to put my um, snaps on youtube again and i've decided not to do that this time around i talked a lot about you know, my feelings on sharing right now in my, in a video. And I also just put up a blog post as well because I had some time to think of it and your comments between the time that I post that video and kind of settled on the fact that I'm kind of pulling back a little bit from certain social media outlets, just a little bit, um, and choosing others to share more on. And Snapchat is one of those right now that I'm sharing a lot on, but I've decided to just leave the stuff there. So my snaps will stay there for 24 hours and then they're gone. Um, so if you want to check me out there, I'm pretty neat living, no second eye. I will write it in here. I'm having so much fun chatting with you guys too. So thank you for snapping me uh, and sharing, you know, cute, cute pics and videos of your kids and, and pups and kittens and all, all of your cute, cuteness with me. So just loving that. And I think I'm going to be able to finish cause she's just, <laughs> she's just smiling and looking around. Okay. Um, lastly, uh, tasty treats here. I've been on this crazy diet. I just started transitioning out of, out of it. I was on the elimination diet for breastfeeding for a while, and then I also started the candida diet um, in mid, like early February, I guess. And I was on that for six weeks, so I was really basically not eating a whole. There wasn't a lot of choice on the things that I could eat. Um, and I needed things that were easy for me to eat and easy to grab and didn't take a lot of prep work and it was really hard. But I did find a couple of snacky things that I just fell in love with through that diet. Fortunately now I'm kind of easing out of it and not having any issue. Cece's doing great too with me bringing back in wheat and sugar and, and um, haven't really I haven't really gone to dairy yet, but that's the next thing I'm gonna, I'm kind of waiting on that one because that's the biggest trigger, right? But anyway, we're both doing great. Um, so a couple of snack foods that I fell in love with. 
uh, that just really helped me a lot. First of all, pumpkin seeds. I gave up nuts for a time um, just to see if that was having an effect because um, I know nuts can, can be a trigger in breastfeeding. They weren't actually, but I really needed something like a nut that was high protein, easy, bite size, like I could just grab and eat one-handed if necessary. And that for me, that food became pumpkin seeds. So these are the organic pumpkin seeds with a bit of sea salt by CB's Nuts. We get these at Whole Foods. They're in the shell, they're roasted. This is my favorite favorite, favorite crunchy snack in the fall. Like I usually make roasted pumpkin seeds from pumpkins, you know, that we carve or whatever. I love that I can buy them year round in the store and not have to do the hassle of like carving a pumpkin to get them. Um, but these are delicious. And the other thing that's really sustained me is avocado toast. Now I wasn't eating any bread and I really wasn't eating, eating gluten-free bread either because it's made with rice flour or other things that I was avoiding as well. It was basically off all grains. Um, certain rice flours. It's funny because I'm only a rice cakes. I found that I could eat brown rice without issue. I know some people on the Candida diet can't process brown rice, but I, I could and, I, and, I, and I'm grateful for that because I would have my avocado toast on these rice cakes and I still eat this almost every day. Um, I actually eat the whole avocado because I need the fat and the, um, the nutrients, especially with when I was on such a limited diet, but now that I'm kind of eating more things again, I'd probably go back to just half an avocado. Um, but you just basically cut up an avocado, mush it up with a fork, spread it on a rice cake, add a little salt. It is divine. It is like the most tasty, fulfilling, yummy snack ever. And I love it. I love, love, love it. And that is everything for my favorites. I have to go because now my baby looks like she wants me. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'd love to hear what some of your March favorites were and what you're looking forward to doing this spring season if you care to share. I do have a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away my favorite, my new favorite eyeshadow pencils, but brand new to two winners. The giveaway is, um, they're not eyeshadow, eyeshadow pencils, that's right. The giveaway is open internationally. It'll run for one week's time. If you're under the age of 18, it just has to have parental permission. And you can find the, wow, it just got so dark. You can find the um, information on my blog, which I will link below. Um, but one of each shade for two winners. Anyway, I hope you guys are all well. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry if I'm rushing. I have to go get my baby, but I will see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.